and they've just got to be able to make uh, the connectivity with their inside 50 entries count, I think, because that was a difference for mine in the last 10 or 15 minutes. Clarence were able to capitalise on those entries, and North Hobart, who had numerous ones early on in that second quarter, uh, unfortunately, they just needed to lower their eyes, make better decisions with ball in hand, because Clarence were able to pick them off with some good defensive marks, Ray. We also spoke uh, during the break about uh, Jack Sandrick, who is a major ball winner for North Hobart. He hasn't uh, been able to get his hands on it quite so much in no. this game so far. And the D's not able to win it at the source. Ethan Jackson's been massive for Clarence. It looks like Brady Jones might have the job, uh, sacrificial role on Sandrick, just to make sure he doesn't get too much of the footy. We'll see how he goes, though, in this second half. He's got a job to do if he wants to lift his team uh, towards victory. Up it goes in the middle. There is Jones, who gets the first handball out of the centre, directly to the big ruckman in wall. He was ripped off his handball. Got it to Davis, though. Tumbler inside 50. Here is a chance for Neil. Gets around onto the left boot. Clarence have one within the first minute. Too loose on that occasion. He found uh, time and space again. And good call from you, AJ. Um, you mentioned Neil in the second quarter. He just got off the chain and he's kicked a couple of goals now for the Ruse. And they just held up, didn't they, in the uh, centre clearance there. Wall involved. Didn't panic. Yeah, he's becoming a problem for the North Hobart defence. And I think it's Hugh Williams with the job. Not the... Uh, yes, you're right. Is he a fraction undersized down there, row potentially, he although it be. wasn't size that cost him on that occasion? Right, he was in the right place at the right time that time, Neil, but that is what good players do, and he is making an impact on the scoreboard. Back to the middle, and the Ds will want to respond, and they'll want to respond quickly because it's suddenly 10 points after they led uh, by three goals at one stage. So it's been quite the turnaround here at North Hobart Oval. Ollie Davis was the last inside 50, starting to get his hands on the footy. Tossed up, picked up one hand, I think that's uh, Smith. Webberley goes in, the coach, but the umpire's found a free kick. It's going to go the way of North Hobart, and Baxter Norton's got it. And Hill, with his left foot, no, no it's a poor kick. Wide. It is a poor kick, doesn't give his team any chance at all, and trundles over, not too far <laughs> down from where we're sitting here, about 65 metres around from North Hobart's goal. And they've just been jumped a little at the start of this second half. A goal to Neild has their back against the wall, the Ds, tossed in, one down by the Ds, and that man Sandrick goes forward, but his kick is wayward, and Clarence should be able to clear. Good kick. Quick kick is good. And the mark's taken there by uh, Davis, who you mentioned before, is a fine player. Gave it to Josh Green, the ex-AFL footballer, who uh, changes things up to the opposite side of the ground and uh, finishes up with Harper. Harper's got it, goes short, and he finds uh, Wiley. And Wiley has it on the wing for the ruse. Good kick from Wiley, goes right inside 50. D's in front. Chance, though, for the ruse because the ball's not out of there yet. Tumbling handball, missed kick, great tackle by North Hobart, and they've turned the ball over. That's ferocity from the Ds, and the big bear would be very happy. He'd be banging his paws together <laughs> when he sees uh, tackling like that. And Willis has it at half forward, kick around the corner. This could bounce anywhere. If it bounces straight, it's going to be a goal. It hits the post. Oh, it would have been a remarkable goal because he threw it on his boot. A long way from home, Sean Willis. And that last 90 seconds would have oh, pleased a... uh, Robinson very much. And so would have that kick an indiscriminate error from the ruse. And North Hobart had a chance again. Sandrick, he gave him the rev up at half time. Rowie said he hasn't seen as much of it. He's had plenty of possessions early in this second half. High kick to the top of the square. Holmes there, quick handball out. And they might just clear it here, the ruse. Though that kick missed its target and it'll come bounding back in for North Hobart. Big men fly. Ball at ground level goes over the boundary line. Christopher. Well called, AJ. Good passage. And you mentioned Sandrick. He has had three or four early ones in this second half, getting productive for the Ds. But it's Clarence with that advantage. Nine points to the good. Can the D strike back here? And it comes. Wiley took it on the half volley. He was all wrapped up by McGuinness. 
He's just got a bit untidy the last few minutes. We've seen some mistakes. Ollie Davis kicked one out in the full. Sandrick wasn't his best inside 50. He got held up. Up it goes again. Hardy will do the ruck work. It's been a free kick pulled out. It'll go Clarence's way. Play on advantage is the call. Into the middle oh. of the ground they go. Gee, that was beautifully roved by Banks. He's got an open Ford 50 in front of him. Sends a ball goal. Would it need a kind bounce? It won't quite get there. And rolls through for a minor score. But Clarence electric on the rebound. The margin back out to 10. It's beautifully roved by Sam Banks. He's a beautiful mover. Great kick of the footy. So now in North Hobart hands, McCulloch sends it out to the outer side. Only as far as Harper, though, who read it best. Short ball inboard is good to Davis, who's getting busy as well. Kick inside the 50, kick. has a man all on his own. Darcy Separation Gardner. from Gardiner. He gives it off to Bushner. Trusts the right boot of his teammate. He sends it to a dangerous spot and getting across. That is another very, very good mark taken by Noah Holmes. Yeah, he just worked his way to the front, didn't he? He got some separation on his opponent in Hugh Williams. So he's a right footer. I don't think he'll go the drop punt here, boys. The modern day player often likes to use a banana. So will he come around on the up. left or will he kick the outside of the right or will he go the no. traditional drop punt? Let's have a look. In he comes. Looks like he's going the drop punt and he just misses to the near side. So a minor score for Clarence. They're 6 7 43. They lead by 11. North Hobart 5 2 32. Straight back into it again, Holmes. He caused the intercept, and North Hobart now under siege in their back half. Yeah, Another good. great smother by, uh, I think it's the same man again, Holmes. There's a couple with long hair, but great play by Clarence to keep it in. Well, he's actually um, played out on the full oh, with the, the shin, smother, it? which it might have been from Howlett and young uh, Swinton, it was, and George McLeod with a free kick. Both uh, teams desperate to keep it inside their attacking 50. That's a good kick and mark uh, by Hardy. And gives it back to his young teammate down the line. Steele's taking a mark. Look at that head of hair on that man. Goodness me. What would you call that, Chris? He... Oh, it's oh a... the umpire's picked out a free. What was that for? Was it? I'm not sure it was. So was he too close to the man there? What's going on there? He looked like he wanted to play on, didn't he? Steel and maybe uh, encroaching on the mark. That's the only thing I can think of. steele has been in pretty good form goal-kicking-wise with his set shots this year and gets a, an opportunity. I think what uh, AJ Clarence, uh, North Upper kicked the first... Uh, sorry, they uh, kicked four in a row at one point, so the ruse with four yeah, of the last so five was, goals. That one was a player in the protected area. Or is it the post? Coming in from just the right-hand side of Steele. Thank you, Chris. Not his greatest kick steal. Um, and that's two balls that have hit the post uh, in the last five minutes for the Ds. Oof. Kick in is wow. dicey. Green's got it. Ruse come away. Short kick. And they're building nicely here, Clarence. And they've got men on. I see Neil making space. Can they get the kick over the top to him? Goes longer than that. For goal, near side, one behind. Was that Howlett then, Rowe? He had a couple of plays. He had Gardner finding space. Yeah, AJ called it well. Neil was Neil was maybe the one over the top. The little pop kick would have worked because he had created some space. Gee, that's almost a really good juggling mark taken. In fact, it is oh, by Pate. Davis. Is that an enormous seven or eight minutes, boys? I reckon he's had six or seven touches. He certainly has. He'll send Clarence... Deep inside 50 again. Yes, and there's Green. Well, he's a much improved player. We know he's played under 18 level at, uh, for his state in the last couple of seasons, Green. But he's been... It uh, looks like he's improved his overhead marking for mine. And he's always had some talent. On that occasion, he used his body well and has a chance to put the Roo 17 points up if he kicks truly. This will hurt North Hobart. Green comes in. Oh, got too close to the man of the mark and kicked it straight into that man. The ball's out of bounds in Clarence's forward pocket. Yeah, that might be an area of his game. Just his kicking. Uh, it's more probably his, an area of growth. His, uh, he just got too close to the man of the mark. Did, yeah, it was. <laughs> the kick didn't really have a chance to reach its potential. <laughs> Ball tossed in. Dees have it. Kick around the corner. Well done, Pepper. Arm down. Who's going to emerge with the football? Hardy's in there. Umpire says, I'll toss it up. 
So a few errors that both sides will rue if, if the game goes the other way. But at the moment, Clarence with their nose in front. 11 points. Beautiful bit of ruck work gives the Ds a chance to clear the area. But the Roos have numbers on centre wing. And it's marked by Wiley, who straight away switches play. And that might be a good move because Harper's got it. And Harper goes short and finds a man leading out. What's his kick, boys? Lovely long raking right foot to the top of the square. Green's got it. Can he do something with it? Neil bustles in. But he's wrapped up in a strong North Hobart tackle. And the Ds might come up with this. They're appealing for holding the ball. Kick around the corner. Hardy's got a tricky one. It sits for him finally. Handball inside. And the Ds are out of trouble rowing. So Reeves clears defensive 50. But there's a wall of Clarence players waiting. Buchner went one way, then the other. Got it off to the coach in Webley. Short spearing ball inside 50. McCulloch had to be good, and he was. Menzi unable to gather on the bounce. They're still in strife here, the Ds. Norton couldn't get his kick away. Clarence players arrive. There's Buchner again. He's tackled. Ball will remain in. We'll have a ball it's up. Just, it's just the little things, isn't it, Sam Green? He just needed to lead up. You could see his coach lowered his eyes and hit him, which looked like a beautiful pass. But Green just needed to run through the footy there and reward his coach with the inside 50 entry. So stoppage, right half forward for Clarence, who are pressing. Allen won the tap, down to Sandrick, couldn't get his kick away. Good tackle laid. Appeals for holding the ball, but nothing doing, says the ump. Another stoppage. They're on top here, Clarence. North Hobart's back half, are under siege. Up it goes again. Can they conjure out of the congestion? McCulloch was clean. The hands were good to fit Pat to kill Patrick. They work it by hand now. Up the line, the D's. Good looking ball to a oh, two Michael on two. Michael Fisher pushed in and the that back. Might have been to be a free kick. In the back. In fact, it was. Hasn't had a lot of the pill today, Michael Fisher. Maybe he's got a big second half. He goes forward. It's not a great kick. It's a terrible kick, actually. And it's out of bounds on the full. They're yeah, normally very good by foot. Former Clarence player as well, Michael Fisher. Second stint with North Hobart. And he'll rue that one because he had a chance to put his team uh, in a really dangerous spot and he just pulled his kick and Clarence have easily got it out of their defensive half. And I think that is a trend in this game. Clarence seemed to be moving the ball from one 50-metre arc to the other with a little more ease, though I say that, and they've coughed it straight up. Steel to Hardy and the, and the Ds have a chance. Good kick, Willis. Leading up, he's got it at forward 50. He looks confident. Will he go back? and try and kick a big goal. He's got options inside, but he's going to go long. Willis's kick. It's to an unguarded square. Oh. Did a player get a hand to it? He did. Touch ball, one behind, but not a bad attempt, Sean Willis. Gee, that was almost a stunning lack of awareness from Clarence. He was obviously going to load up and have mm. a ping. He had nothing to kick to, but nobody got back. Fortunately, uh, there was a fingertipper that just sent it over the line. That's a really nice ball. He's uh, had a good quarter, Rowie, Sam Banks. He certainly has. Promising young player, a young gun, in fact, this man. He's had a good amount of the footy. Kicks it long, up the wing. Collins, another very good young player. Couldn't intercept on this occasion. Here's McCulloch, who's getting busy as well. Left foot, chipping ball towards half forward. Willis tried to run onto it, but Bailey was in the way. Kicks the ball up the line. There is Collins. Yeah, that's what he does so very well. Reads it in the air. And he kicks it pretty well as well. This occasion, no exception. Pepin has the ball, switches the play. Little over the top ball, looking for Norton was good enough. He gets things moving immediately, middle of the ground. Here's Walker. He's held up, gives it by hand. Back to Norton, left foot ball inside 50. Can they pluck a mark? Getting back with Steele, unable to get a paw to it. Gee, a good attempt to keep it in. Eventually it rolls out of bounds for a boundary throw in in the... Left forward pocket, five metres around from the left behind post. Just gone up a half yeah, a notch has. here, I think. Both teams hungry to have the ascendancy going into the last quarter. Tossed in still, does his own work out of the ruck, but he couldn't get a kick away, and Clarence get it out to their 50 and then get the better of the bounce. Holmes has it on half back. He put his man under tremendous pressure there. He's up to the task thus far. Gives it back to Holmes, who gets a clearing kick. The umpire says it's coming back, but it's going the way of Clarence. So it won't affect 
the run of play too much. Who's that over there? With the it's uh, George the McLeod, the free kick against him. But I thought it was a couple of really good defensive efforts from him on that occasion. Didn't see what the free kick was Is for. Is that Hallett that's got it? He, he, Hallett's got the footy, yep. Yeah, he did a good job there. He had to... Uh, beat two and get it back to Holmes, and he did, and he won the free kick. So he's done a good job there. The Roos, though, still deep in defence and need to find a path out. Pressure from North Hobart on the kicker. Ball down the wing. Fisher flies. Can't get the better of Webberley, who now sizes up his options and goes to centre-half forward and a great mark taken there. And is that Holmes as well? It is. Yeah, he's got a good pair of hands. He just needed to kill it there, Jeff Fisher. Unfortunately, it got over the back to Webberley. Now, Holmes is a long kick of the footy, boys. It wouldn't be beyond him here. So there's a couple of Holmes boys. Are they related? I they are. They're brothers. And, of course, their dad was a, a, a TSL footballer in the uh, late 80s and 90s for New Norfolk and Glenorchy. More a defender, Darren. So this is Noah Holmes. Let's watch the arc of his kick. It goes to the right. The distance was not a problem, was it? He just, just sl- one behind. He just slipped as he kicked as well, did Holmes. So perhaps the purchase would have been better if he kept his feet. But a minor score. North Hobart footy in the right back pocket. Williams across goal he goes. Gee, that's yeah. a nightmare. And that'll bo- <laughs> bounce through for a minor score. Elude Sam Collins. No real harm done, but sloppy. Yeah, he's got Paddy Walker. But so he goes more direct. Collins out of full back goes long up the spine. He's poke. He just handballed to nobody in particular. In Clarence hands now. Riley back to Holmes. Kick out wide to Howlett. Has some time and space to assess what's in front of him. Spearing left football is a beauty. Yeah, great call, Ro. It was a spearing ball. And big Wade Walls on the end of it. The Ruckman floating forward. And he'll have a chance to extend this lead. Well, I think it's pretty important, AJ, for Clarence's sake because it's 16 scoring shots to nine. They've actually, for mine, dominated this quarter in terms of uh, ball in hand, inside 50, time and forward half, and they probably need reward for effort here. This would be a game-high lead if they can uh, convert here. So this to extend things to 18 points. Wade Wall, a veteran of the footy club, sends it through post high, but it's missing. So a minor score, Clarence, who just keep the scoreboard ticking over and the scoreboard pressure on the young Dees as they bring it out of defence. Caswell has to wait for it. Takes an easy chess mark in front of Webley. Goes back. He'll look to go up the line. Where are the marking targets? There's Green, who's been pretty good today for Clarence. Riley at ground level, feeds up a handball. Gee, it might have been just stripped off the footy young Davis. And that is in the back from Walker as the coaching staff for North Hobart in the box beside Rearranging us. some furniture, I think, just there, Rowie. Emotions. Just, uh, making sure the box is... The Feng Shui is right in the box. <laughs> as they go inside 50, that'll please them a little bit more. A good defensive mark. Uh, taken by the Ruckman, who gives it off and likes long left foot kick to a one-on-one. Willis getting back. Did he get pushed in the back? No, says the umpire. Play on. Chance for Riley. Goes in board. And the Roos seem to have the poise at the moment. Green. Green goes, tries to go underground. But good play there by the late inclusion in poke. And he got his hand in there and forces the stoppage. So North Hobart need to bring the ball forward, you would think. They're 13 points down with the momentum against them. Ball tossed in. Uh, one in ruck by the Ds. Swinging kick around hard. He's got a chance one-on-one, oh, one, but a great, great mark, mark there well done, Bailey. Uh, to uh, the veteran in uh, Bailey. Good kick, and, too. Uh, switches up play nicely to Howlett, who's a smooth mover and a sweet left footer. And he sets up his teammate over the top there in Harper. Harper's good. He's got it to Neild, who's a long way from home. Won't kick a goal from there, but he does set it up to the hot spot. The big men fly, and the Ds have it. And a good mark there by the very tall uh, Allen, Hamish Allen, uh, in defence, who goes short. And, oh, Oh, charged into. That's got to be 50 metres. That is silly, flagrant. And why? And why? Would you do that? Obviously, you know, you want to make them earn it occasionally, but that's just going to hurt his team if North Hobart can capitalise here on the scoreboard. Neil, he's been great for the Roos, but the coach 
will be tearing his hair out. And he's got a fair mop of it too, Jeremy Webley. Dees go forward to the hot spot. All ruse over the back. Can they get a lucky one, though? Ball hotly contested. And the Dees need to make something happen here, Browning. They do. A couple of nice defensive 50 marks from Hamish Allen. He's an improving footballer. But you're right, AJ. Hardy out of the ruck work. High kick. Won't be a score. Or the wheel off hands. Just one behind, though. And the D's back within two kicks. Clarence have got them for mine post-clearance and on the outside row. They're uh, starting to open them up a little bit by foot. They are. And speaking of good users, he's Webley out from fullback. Big punch. Gains a good 15 metres. It rolls out of bounds for a boundary throw-in. On the left, half forward flank, North Hobart need a goal, it's fair to say. Well, Ro, it wouldn't be a long quarter. This may be one or two goals kicked. Yeah, spot on, Browning. And it comes. What can they conjure? Hardy goes in after it. Green's been good. Gee, Jones was tough and just gave the don't argue. Was ripped off his kick in the end and was pinged. Tried to just evade the tackler. Well, the advantage has been paid. Inside 50 they go to North Hobart. And there goes the siren. So so close to having a shot for goal. And that will be frustrating. So close, but yet so far for North Hobart. He got two hands to it, the man on the lead there. Just couldn't grip it. And now they'll go in two goals down. And the two teams get a little fractious again. There's a little bit of... Uh, what's the? It's a febrile atmosphere out there at the moment between the two teams. Uh, but they aren't in any mood to get involved. And at three-quarter time, Clarence 6-11-47 lead. North Hobart 5-5-35. Brownie, how did you see that turn? Well, I thought uh, 